What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, your neighborhood art director that designs movie posters for a living. Today, I'm gonna show you the quick and easy way to add this heat map effect to your art and design. Plus, we're gonna add a little bit of noise and some blur. Today, I'm working on a template size of 20 inches wide, 13.5 inches high and a resolution of 150. So what you're gonna wanna do is find a cool image. I found this one on envato.com and the link is below. The first step is you're gonna wanna head over to your adjustment layers and hit gradient map. As soon as your gradient editor comes up, go ahead and select a gradient that has black on the left and white on the right. That's just to let you know we'll be working with our color tones, dark on the left light on the right. To create more of a heat map, we're gonna wanna start with our blues, specifically a dark blue. And on the slider, you can see that there's little stops. To create a new stop, all you're gonna do is hit right below the slider and a new stop will pop up. Then click inside the stop, hit color, and then now you can adjust the color. So we're going from a dark blue to a lighter blue, and then from that blue, we're just going up the color scale, a vibrant red, and then we're gonna click on below the scale again, create another stop, and on this stop, we're gonna go back down to the yellows, and then we're gonna do another stop, and this time we're gonna go with a very light yellow bordering on white. And then on the final stop, we might just use a white and that's just gonna bring out the highlights a little more so that there's a, an added dimension to the artwork. And then of course you can mess around with the position of our stops until you get something that you're digging. Now that you're satisfied with your new heat map color scheme, we're gonna go ahead and add some blur. Go up to filter, blur gallery, and then field blur. Once you're in your field blur, you're gonna wanna make sure you hit command H or Alt H on a PC to make sure that your little circular blur adjusters show up. Once you have your blur adjusters, go ahead and put one around the eye or where you want less blur. For this image, I wanna have a lot of blur going on the outside toward the hair, her arms, and the leg. So we're just gonna keep adding these little blur adjusters and then increasing the blur until you get something that you like and we're just gonna go around her until it's looking like this. Now we can go ahead and create some noise. There's a few ways to do it, but I find this way to be one of the quickers and easier to edit later on. Go ahead and hit Option on your keyboard, hold it down, then go to New Layer, and then on New Layer, where it says Name, we're just gonna wanna rename it Noise so that we don't get confused. Once that's named, go to Mode, and on mode, go to overlay, and then where it says fill with overlay neutral color, make sure you check that off. Then hit okay. From here, you're gonna wanna click on that layer, right click and convert to smart object. The reason being is that we can go back and forth and adjust the noise accordingly. Now that it's a smart object, go back up to filter, go down to noise, add noise, and then from here, you can either play with a scale or add in a particular number. For this one, I'm just gonna go with 16%. One last little touch you can do is to mess around with the hue saturation. Go to your adjustment layers, hue saturation, and when the hue saturation properties is revealed, you can mess around with the hue scale. And this will really tweak the colors. So if you wanted to adjust something or see what something looks like, this is a cool and easy way to look at different color schemes. You can also adjust the saturation and the lightness. For this project, I'm just gonna add a little bit more lightness to kind of give it a weird, cool, funky technique. So there you go, guys. We've successfully created a heat map image, added some noise with a little bit of blur to get a really cool treatment.